Hello and welcome to our channel. Today's topic is lathe machines. In this video, we will be discussing the different types of lathe machines, their components, various type of cutting tools, applications of lathe machine, and advantage and disadvantages of lathe machine, and how they are used in manufacturing. A lathe machine is a machine tool that rotates a workpiece on its axis to perform various operations such as cutting, sanding, drilling, and deformation. Lathes are used in a wide variety of industries including metalworking, woodworking, and plastics. There are several Several different types of lathe machines, including engine lathes. These are the most common type of lathe and are used for a wide variety of operations. They have a large bed and a headstock that houses the motor and drive system. Bench lathes. These are smaller, less powerful lathes that are typically used for hobby or small-scale production work. Turret lathes. These are specialized lathes that are used for high-speed, high-volume production work. They have a turret that holds multiple cutting tools, allowing for quick tool changes. CNC lathes. These are lathes that are controlled by computer numerical control systems. They can be programmed to perform a wide variety of operations with high precision and repeatability. All lathes consist of several key components, including the bed. This is the base of the lathe and provides support for the other components. The headstock. This houses the motor and drive system and is located at one end of the bed. The tailstock. This is located at the opposite end of the bed and is used to support the other end of the workpiece. The cutting tool. This is the tool that is used to remove material from the workpiece. Lathe machines are used in a wide variety of manufacturing operations, such as turning. This involves rotating the workpiece and using a cutting tool to remove material. Facing. This involves cutting the end of a workpiece to make it flat and smooth. Drilling. This involves using a drilling tool to create a hole in the workpiece. Tapping. This involves creating internal threads in a hole that has been drilled in the workpiece. In summary, a lathe machine is a machine tool that rotates a workpiece on its axis to perform various operations such as cutting, sanding, drilling, and deformation. There are several different types of lathe machines, including engine lathes, bench lathes, turret lathes, and CNC lathes. All lathes consist of several key components, including the bed, headstock, tailstock, and cutting tool. Lathe machines are used in a wide variety of manufacturing operations such as turning, facing, drilling, and tapping. Engine lathe. An engine lathe, also known as a center lathe, is a machine tool that rotates a workpiece on its axis to perform various operations such as cutting, sanding, drilling, and deformation. Engine lathes are the most common type of lathe machine and can be found in almost any machine shop. They are versatile machines that are used in a wide variety of industries including metalworking, woodworking, and plastics. Engine lathes have a large bed and a headstock that houses the motor and drive system. The headstock is located at one end of the bed and the tailstock is located at the opposite end of the bed and is used to support the other end of the workpiece. The cutting tool is the tool that is used to remove material from the workpiece. The main components of an engine lathe include the bed. This is the base of the lathe and provides support for the other components. The headstock. This houses the motor and drive system and is located at one end of the bed. The tailstock. This is located at the opposite end of the bed and is used to support the other end of the workpiece. The cutting tool. This is the tool that is used to remove material from the workpiece. The carriage. This is the component that holds the cutting tool and moves along the bed to allow cutting at various locations on the workpiece. The cross slide. This is a component that allows the cutting tool to move across the workpiece, perpendicular to the bed. The lead screw. This is a component that converts rotary motion from the headstock into linear motion for the carriage and cross slide. Engine lathes are used in a wide variety of manufacturing operations, such as turning. This involves rotating the workpiece and using a cutting tool to remove material. Facing. This involves cutting the end of a workpiece to make it flat and smooth. Drilling. This involves using a drilling tool to create a hole in the workpiece. Tapping. This involves creating internal threads in a hole that has been drilled in the workpiece. Knurling. This involves using a knurling tool to create a pattern of small ridges on the surface of the workpiece. In summary, an engine lathe, also known as a center lathe, is a versatile machine tool that rotates a workpiece on its axis to perform various operations such as cutting, sanding, drilling, and deformation. It is the most common type of lathe machine and can be found in almost any machine shop. Engine lathes have large bed and a headstock that houses the motor and drive system and consist of several key components including the bed, headstock, tailstock, cutting tool, carriage, cross slide and lead screw. They are used in a wide variety of manufacturing operations such as turning, facing, drilling, tapping and knurling. Bench lathe. A bench lathe is a small, less powerful lathe that is typically used for hobby or small-scale production work. 
They are designed to be compact and portable, making them easy to use in a variety of settings. Bench lathes are also commonly used in educational and training settings. The main components of a bench lathe include the bed. This is the base of the lathe and provides support for the other components. The headstock. This houses the motor and drive system and is located at one end of the bed. The tailstock. This is located at the opposite end of the bed and is used to support the other end of the workpiece. The cutting tool. This is the tool that is used to remove material from the workpiece. The carriage. This is the component that holds the cutting tool and moves along the bed to allow cutting at various locations on the workpiece. The cross slide. This is a component that allows the cutting tool to move across the workpiece, perpendicular to the bed. The lead screw. This is a component that converts rotary motion from the headstock into linear motion for the carriage and cross slide. Bench lathes are typically used for similar operations as engine lathes such as turning. This involves rotating the workpiece and using a cutting tool to remove material. Facing. This involves cutting the end of a workpiece to make it flat and smooth. Drilling. This involves using a drilling tool to create a hole in the workpiece. Tapping. This involves creating internal threads in a hole that has been drilled in the workpiece. Knurling. This involves using a knurling tool to create a pattern of small ridges on the surface of the workpiece. However, due to their smaller size, bench lathes have a lower power and less weight capacity. They are not suitable for heavy-duty industrial work and larger projects, but they are a great option for hobbyists, small-scale production, prototyping and educational purposes. In summary, a bench lathe is a small, less powerful lathe that is typically used for hobby or small-scale production work. They are designed to be compact and portable, making them easy to use in a variety of settings. Bench lathes consist of several key components including the bed, headstock, tailstock, cutting tool, carriage, cross slide and lead screw. They are typically used for similar operations as engine lathes such as turning, facing, drilling, tapping and knurling, but they are not suitable for heavy-duty industrial work and larger projects. Turret lathes. A turret lathe is a specialized type of lathe machine that is used for high-speed, high-volume production work. They are designed to be highly efficient and capable of performing multiple operations quickly and accurately. The most significant difference between a turret lathe and other types of lathes is the turret, which holds multiple cutting tools, allowing for quick tool changes. The main components of a turret lathe include the bed. This is the base of the lathe and provides support for the other components. The headstock. This houses the motor and drive system and is located at one end of the bed. The tailstock. This is located at the opposite end of the bed and is used to support the other end of the workpiece. The cutting tool. This is the tool that is used to remove material from the workpiece. The carriage. This is the component that holds the cutting tool and moves along the bed to allow cutting at various locations on the workpiece. The cross slide. This is a component that allows the cutting tool to move across the workpiece, perpendicular to the bed. The lead screw. This is a component that converts rotary motion from the headstock into linear motion for the carriage and cross slide. The turret. This is a component that holds multiple cutting tools and allows for quick tool changes. Turret lathes are typically used for similar operations as engine lathes such as turning. This involves rotating the workpiece and using a cutting tool to remove material. Facing. This involves cutting the end of a workpiece to make it flat and smooth. Drilling. This involves using a drilling tool to create a hole in the workpiece. Tapping. This involves creating internal threads in a hole that has been drilled in the workpiece. Knurling. This involves using a knurling tool to create a pattern of small ridges on the surface of the workpiece. However, due to their quick tool change capability, turret lathes are ideal for high-speed, high-volume production work, where multiple operations need to be performed on a single workpiece quickly and accurately. They are also suitable for mass production or repetitive jobs that require multiple tool changes. In summary, a turret lathe is a specialized type of lathe machine that is used for high-speed, high-volume production work. They are designed to be highly efficient and capable of performing multiple operations quickly, and accurately. The most significant difference between a turret lathe and other types of lathes is the turret, which holds multiple cutting tools, allowing for quick tool changes. They are typically used for similar operations as engine lathes such as turning, facing, drilling, tapping, and knurling, but they are ideal for high-speed, high-volume production work, where multiple operations need to be performed on a single workpiece quickly and accurately. CNC lathes. A CNC lathe is a type of lathe machine that is controlled by computer numerical control systems. CNC lathes are highly precise and repeatable machines that are capable of performing complex operations with high accuracy. They are used in a wide variety of industries including aerospace, automotive, medical, and energy. The main components of a CNC lathe include the bed. This is the base of the lathe and provides support for the other components. The headstock. This houses the motor and drive system and is located at one end of the bed. 
The tailstock, this is located at the opposite end of the bed and is used to support the other end of the workpiece. The cutting tool, this is the tool that is used to remove material from the workpiece. The carriage, this is the component that holds the cutting tool and moves along the bed to allow cutting at various locations on the workpiece. The cross slide, this is a component that allows the cutting tool to move across the workpiece, perpendicular to the bed. The lead screw, this is a component that converts rotary motion from the headstock into linear motion for the carriage and cross slide. The CNC control unit, this is the component that controls the movement of the cutting tool and other components of the lathe. CNC lathes are capable of performing a wide variety of operations, including turning, this involves rotating the workpiece and using a cutting tool to remove material. Facing, this involves cutting the end of a workpiece to make it flat and smooth. Drilling, this involves using a drilling tool to create a hole in the workpiece. Tapping, this involves creating internal threads in a hole that has been drilled in the workpiece. Knurling, this involves using a knurling tool to create a pattern of small ridges on the surface of the workpiece. Milling. This involves using a milling tool to remove material from the workpiece. Grinding. This involves using a grinding tool to remove material. Various type of cutting tools and lathe machines. Lathe machines are used to shape and form materials by cutting, turning, drilling, and tapping. These operations are performed using cutting tools, which are specifically designed to remove material from the workpiece. The choice of cutting tool depends on the material being machined, the desired finish, and the complexity of the operation. The main types of cutting tools used in lathes include single-point cutting tools. These are the most common type of cutting tool used in lathes. They have a single cutting edge and are used for turning, facing, and drilling operations. Multi-point cutting tools. These are cutting tools that have multiple cutting edges, such as indexable inserts, which can be rotated to a new cutting edge when one becomes worn. They are used for turning, facing, and drilling operations. Boring bars. These are long, cylindrical tools that are used for boring operations. They have a single cutting edge and are inserted into a hole in the workpiece. Tapping tools. These are tools that are used to create internal threads in a hole that has been drilled in the workpiece. Knurling tools. These are tools that are used to create a pattern of small ridges on the surface of the workpiece. The choice of cutting tool depends on the material being machined, the desired finish, and the complexity of the operation. Single-point cutting tools are used for simple operations, while multi-point cutting tools are used for more complex operations. Boring bars are used for boring operations, tapping tools are used for creating internal threads, and knurling tools are used for creating a pattern of small ridges on the surface of the workpiece. All cutting tools have specific cutting edge geometries, coatings, and grades that are designed to improve tool life and the quality of the finish on the work piece. Applications of lathe machine. Metalworking. Lathe machines are used in the metalworking industry for turning, facing, drilling, and tapping operations on a wide range of metal materials. Woodworking. Lathe machines are used in the woodworking industry for shaping and forming wood materials into a wide range of products such as bowls, spindles, and furniture. Plastics. Lathe machines are used in the plastics industry for shaping and forming plastic materials into a wide range of products such as gears, cams, and pulleys. Medical. Lathe machines are used in the medical industry for shaping and forming medical implants and surgical instruments. Aerospace. Lathe machines are used in the aerospace industry for shaping and forming aircraft components such as turbine blades and landing gear. Advantage and disadvantages of lathe machine. Advantages of lathe machines include high precision. Lathe machines are capable of producing highly precise and accurate parts, which is essential for many manufacturing applications. Repeatability. Lathe machines can produce identical parts with very little variation, making them suitable for mass production. Versatility. Lathe machines can perform a wide range of operations, making them suitable for a wide range of materials and applications. Efficiency. Lathe machines are highly efficient and capable of producing parts quickly and with minimal waste. Automation. Many modern lathe machines are CNC which allows high precision, repeatability and efficiency. Disadvantages of lathe machines. One of the main disadvantages of lathe machines is cost. Lathe machines can be expensive to purchase and maintain, which can be a significant drawback for small-scale manufacturers. Additionally, the complexity of the machine can also be a disadvantage as it can be difficult to operate and maintain, which can be a drawback for small-scale manufacturers or those with less experienced operators. Another disadvantage of lathe machines is their limited size capacity. Lathe machines have a limited size capacity, 
and are not suitable for larger workpieces or projects that require larger scale manufacturing. Another disadvantage is that lathe machines are not suitable for certain types of materials. Some materials are not suitable to be machined in lathe machines due to their hardness, brittleness or special properties, thus limiting the range of materials that can be machined. Lastly, the noise generated by lathe machines can be a disadvantage for some manufacturers, as it can be loud and disruptive to the work environment. Thank you for watching our video on lathe machines, various type of cutting tools, applications of lathe machine, and advantage and disadvantages of lathe machine. We hope you found it informative and helpful.